Hey, boys and girls, would you like to learn how to draw like the artist Keith Haring? Just watch. Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Mrs. Smith's Art Room for Kids. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a drawing in the style of the artist Keith Haring. Now, I personally like Keith Haring's work because I feel it's very easy for kids to learn how to draw the figure in the style of Keith Haring because we basically start using stick figures and we bubble out around the figures and this makes drawing the figure very, very simple. Anyway, let me tell you about Keith Haring. Keith Haring, he came from Reading, Pennsylvania. Came to New York in the late 70s, early 80s. He was very influenced by the whole uh, graffiti street culture of New York City. He would go down into the subway with a piece of chalk and he'd look for blank billboards and he'd do these instantaneous um, drawings using his symbols and figures. And I'm going to tell you, his symbols and figures, to me, look a lot like um, ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics. And I love his work. I think he was a, a very major artist. And from him doing these things in the subway and doing large murals and public art, his popularity grew and grew till he became one of the pop icons of our time. Keith Haring fantastic American artist. So, right now I need you to do a couple things for me. I need you to like my video, subscribe, share it with a friend, and always remember, hit that bell so you can get notifications of my new videos when they come out. There is a wonderful book and it's called Keith Haring, The Boy Who Just Kept Drawing. I'm going to leave a link in the description where your parents can buy this book if they choose so. I will also leave links for any supplies that are used in the making of this video. All right, I think I've covered it all. Let's get started drawing. Let's go. I'm using my light reflector to draw a circle, which will be the earth. Now I'm going to sketch out my figures my dancing figures that are going to be going dancing around the earth and each one will be in a different position sometimes I go ahead and make the circle for the head and little gestures for the arms and legs but as you see I do correct things I don't just put something down and that's it I put it down, I fix it, I turn it around till I get it just right. And I'm going to tell you, my sketches are a little light, but I will be outlining soon enough and you will see my whole entire drawing that is inspired by the artwork of Keith Haring. Now, to do this a little easier, I flipped it over or flipped it upside down because drawing figures upside down is not very easy for me and I'm almost there finishing up my last couple figures and some action marks um, Keith Haring is known for having these action marks and I think that's due to his early influences which were Walt Disney and Charles M. Schultz who were both cartoonists and did comic strips and in comic strips they use action marks to show the movement of these static figures in the comic strips but his figures definitely are not static alright I'm starting to outline now you should be able to see everything a lot better I really like Keith Haring's artwork. I think it's full of joy, it's fun, it's bright, it's colorful, 
It's easy for kids to get into it and to understand. And as I said, with them, I teach the stick figure and then we bubble out the stick figure and boom, then they have a Keith Herring figure and it's fantastic. And I just think he's an excellent artist to show kids and get them to appreciate looking at art and trying to understand art. Okay, I'm using my one-step method, I'm filling in areas of the earth. And yes, I made the whole earth blue today. Did not put any green in or any brown. I just did blue. I like the contrast between the colors that I have in my figures and just having a blue earth today. Big blue ball. Um, back to Keith Haring. He was heavily influenced by the street scene, the street graffiti scene in New York City. And he would go in these subways with his white chalk and look for empty billboards and just put down a drawing very quickly. Sometimes he would draw crowds. Sometimes he would get arrested. But I think the most that would happen, he would get fined or uh, sometimes he got locked up. But it added to his notoriety. Um, he also did installation pieces. He did large sculptures. He did wall murals. He even painted on the, the Berlin Wall before it came down. And I'm telling you, he's, he was, it's a shame. He died in 1990. We will miss him. He does have a foundation. And this foundation supports a lot of good causes. One of the things that they do is they keep a website up, which is a great place for kids to go. It's interactive. And they can end up making figures, Life Keith Herring, online. And I like to do that because I like kids to see how it is to create art digitally and then to also do it by hand. And then they can figure out what their choice is. I think so often kids want to do something um, on the computer. But I, my feeling is you should be able to draw by hand before you get to the computer. And that should make your computer art even better because you can really draw. Um, using this fuchsia in my background, I just, I saw the color today and I was like, wow, I, I like this. This will be the color that I'm gonna use and it should make my figures pop and it's, it's working out. Then after I finish that, I'm gonna outline my figures and my action marks in black and that should be my finishing touch and my homage to Keith Haring will be complete and I hope you like it. Well, I finished doing my Keith Herring inspired drawing. What do you think? 
Did I do a good job? I think I, I think I did pretty good. I really enjoyed it and I like my final project. I hope that you try to make one of these Keith Haring figure drawings too. Hey boys and girls, thank you for staying there with me today to look at uh, Mr. Smith doing the Keith Haring drawing. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope that you try to do one on your own. Now, just remember my few little things. Like my video, subscribe, tell a friend, hit that bell, and come back each week to see Mr. Smith in Mr. Smith's art room. I love having you here. All right, well, that's it for today. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.